five basic things that you need to know before setting up a bakery business in Nigeria. My very first point will have to be location. You have to know where your business is going to be situated. The wrongest thing you want to do in business is to set up the right product in the wrong location. No one will buy from you. You want to know the earning power of those around you, those within proximity to your business. You also want to make sure that they can afford your product. If perchance your target audience, they're quite far from you, you really want to make sure that you have your logistics plan in place to get your product from where you are to where it needs to be. You need to consider your location as well. Talking about logistics, you also want to make sure you ask yourself this vital question, how will I get my product from where I am to where it needs to be? You need to consider your mode of transportation. You really don't want to be transporting your cakes on a bike. And even if they're going to be transported on a bike, you want to make sure that it's a type of frosting that will not collapse before it gets to its destination. So you want to make sure, are you using any of the transport companies? Are you using a taxi? How fast can they get to their recipients? An important point to note is also your pricing. You want to know a lot of, I get this question all the time. A lot of people want to know how expensive to cost their cakes or how cheap to cost their cakes. And my sure answer is you alone can decide that for yourself. I know my bills, I know my overheads, I know my staff strength, I know how much I pay expenses, taxes and whatnot. And these are all various factors that I factor into my cake, into the cost of my cake. So based on your own projections as well, based on your location, for instance, um, your staff strength, you can also, you have to actually decide what your costing is. Um, I don't advise just sampling what your competitor's prices are and then just finding the base price and using that as a yardstick for your own costing. No, I don't advise that. I recommend that you do your own homework, but you have to get to the bottom of your costing before you go into the business. You cannot overprice your market. You cannot undercost your market. There are disadvantages and advantages to doing this and you have to get to the bottom of it. The fourth point would have to be staffing. As a startup, you want to ensure that you don't overwhelm your business with too many staff. I have a lot of young startups who come to me saying, uh, oh, I want a baker, a decorator, I want a cleaner, I want this and that. You probably can't even handle all of them at the same time, especially um, if you're just a startup. Not that you can't employ professional hands, but you have to realize that professional staff, they're usually quite restless and they like to be challenged. So if you don't have enough work to throw at them and to keep them busy and to keep them challenged, they most likely would leave you high and dry. So you want to ensure that you start with um, people who are not exactly too professional. I don't know what words to use there. But people who can, who you can train, people who can learn on the job just like you are learning as well, people who you can groom up to your standard, who, people who would listen to you and who, people who would learn from you. That's the kind of stuff that I um, think that startups should start with, not exactly top professional stuff. Yeah, they, you'll probably tire them. My lucky number for startups would be probably two or three people at the very most. Of course, um, they're going to be multitasking. You probably want one person baking and doing the decoration as well. They're actually going to be learning from each other at the very start. So you don't uh, want to necessarily say, oh, this person is going to be doing baking alone or this person is going to be doing decorating alone. Let them learn and then fit into the rules that they are best suited. And the very last point is advertising. How do you intend to communicate to your audience? You want to make sure that you choose the right medium to tell the world how fantastic your cakes are. It's really very easy these days with all the social media platforms that we have. You want to, the various means of um, communicating, you've got the newspapers, you've got soft sell magazines and all that, but the easiest is the social media, which works wonders, especially for small startups. You want to make sure that you're in your customers' faces very often. <music>